Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. This is Ted uh, with Modern Grixis version 1 game 2. Um, I think I'm going to Mulligan. And this is not terribly better, but I'll keep it and see what happens. I don't know what happened to my comments. Okay, so uh, we'll lead off with the first turn, Delver. I'm Mulligan that hand rather quickly. Maybe it was better than this one, but um, I'm sorry, my previous opponent quit on me, and then when this guy uh, queued up, active presenter, um, okay, it looks like some sort of elves, uh, active presenter quit uh, for some reason, and so I had to restart it very quickly, and uh, I'm a little flustered right now, but we'll see what happens. And, uh, no. Okay, so, I guess I'll play the backwater. Uh, this hand's pretty terrible. Come to think of it, but. We'll pass the turn. See what um, it's in store for me against the baby Stegosaurus. Uh, you know what? I'm maximize the screen, I guess. Um, sure. Deadly Recruits. Well, that's going to be a little problem for my uh, Delver. No. Yeah, this is one of the problems um, without uh, not having fetch lands. Um, I don't know what the current price is, but obviously those are high on my priority list in terms of making improvements to the deck. Um, I haven't really decided yet. Um, I think that after I have um, maybe four or five games with this version of the deck played, uh, I'm going to ask you guys to um, suggest a budget. Um, I to uh, an upgrade budget, uh, a weekly upgrade budget rather, and uh, I'm thinking either ten or fifteen dollars. I'd rather do fifteen just because I don't want the project projects to drag on forever. Uh, the goal is obviously to get to a tier one deck, but um, and at ten dollars, that's going to take a long time. Um, almost a year. At 15, still a long time, but um, we'll see. Alright, what does this guy do? I think I'm going to take it for now. I really want a red source rather than have my dollar flip, to be honest with you. Sh sure. I didn't keep up Counter Squall because I'm not overly concerned with what this guy's playing. A bolt. Okay. I think now I might take out one of these guys. Well, he's just going to sack it anyway. Um, and he seems to be mana hosed. A little. He can untap. So, take four 
or give him another land. Are they going to stick a take four? Let's see if he, um, don't want you having another one of those guys. Wait, why? Oh, a non-creature spell, sorry. Uh -huh. <sighs> okay. Alright, now I definitely have to block one. Wait, did I put... Oh, I screwed up. Wait. I messed up, I'm sorry. See, I do that. I, particularly when I'm trying to comment, I get a little distracted. I should have flipped the Delver when I drew... Um... Okay, this game is not going well for me. But we'll see. As I mentioned, uh, I think in one of my other videos, please be brutal in your criticism. Um, it'll help me get better, hopefully. All right, search up your land. Search up your land. Not mono green. Well, now I have a red source, and there's not a ton I can do with it, but maybe I might be able to get a chump if he gives me something to counter scroll. Right, if he sacks it, I keep my right. I think he would have been much better off just. I know he wanted that land, killing this guy off, and then attacking the next turn with both. Well, because he could sacrifice it at any point. Um, See what he does now. Okay, now he decides not to. What else? Okay. Yes. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is bolt this guy. I can terminate it, but I'd rather have the terminate for something that is out of bolt range. Strike for three.
I have a feeling I'm not going to have a whole lot to counter squall, but when I sideboard, I can always uh, bring in something like Pyroclasm, Demolish. Well, that's something I can, um, or Island. I don't even know which one he was targeting, but I hope he wasn't targeting this. Because that would be a mistake. Another deadly dark goose. So if I play the Pyromancer, well, we'll see, maybe we can draw another mountain, but if I play the Pyromancer, then I can generate two tokens from a Terminate Spell Snare. No, I think I want to uh, play a little bit safer and get rid of this guy. What did I do? Oh. I tapped one. Oh, that's what I did. I tapped two blue. Okay. That's fine. And... As you can see, I make a lot of MTGO mistakes that I don't think I would make in Paper Magic. Um, they just become sort of much more obvious with the physical cards. But I could be wrong. Some birds chirping outside. I have the window open because it's quite hot, but not hot enough to run the Borderland Ranger. Okay. Search away. It's not hot enough to run the air conditioning, so again, that's why you don't hear some weird background noises. You probably hear mo mostly the fan on the uh, PC. Another deadly recluse. Okay. Well, he's prepared for. Um, I'm starting to get a little concerned with all the creatures he has. I do have Electrolyzes, um, but I think what I want to do now is, he's at 12, I think I want to play another Pyromancer. And pass the turn and see if I can start generating a lot of uh, chump blockers slash attackers if I do get those electrolyzes acidic slime Well, he's going to nuke this, which sucks. But I can... I can't negate it. I can't spell snare it. Okay.
But maybe we'll draw a mountain? Steam vent? Sweetwater Cliff? Alright, he's tapped out. So that guy can't search for anything. Um, well, I mean, that guy can't do anything. And he can search up a basic land. So, let's... Block there. Now I definitely need a red source. My electrolyzed plan is not going to uh, do me much good. Typhoid rat. Well, that's something. And we'll pass the turn. I'm starting to think that maybe I need another mountain rather than maybe a swamp or dismal backwater. But I think once we move to version 2, I think that's going to be alleviated by the addition of some uh, better lands. So there's a lot of dead cards that I can draw. There's three bolts. Electrolyzes. Four electrolyzes. Two young pyromancers. Okay. Let's see. He's going to search up another land, which sucks. The Arbor Elf. Well. So we'll block, and this guy has death touch, so I don't want to do that. Block, and then we'll take three, go down to five, and we're going to be in a little bit of trouble here. pay for that. that. Buys us some time. Oh, oops. Rain of Thorns. Artifact, land, or enchantment. I can't spell snare that, but I can negate it if I need to. Okay. Um, pass turn. Electrolyze. Well, now we definitely need the red source. But.
Okay. Block this guy. Alright, I can double block and take go to four, but no, I think I'm going to Pyromancer. Take two. I'm not sure if it's the best uh, plan, but mana leak. Not what I wanted to see. Land destruction really uh, is an issue for me. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. So. Let's mana leak it. That uh, gives me a jumper. And I know. And he's in top deck now. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna probably end up going to time. Unless I win this game. Then maybe if I win the second game, I won't time out. But if I lose and I have to win two, I, there's, this match is not looking good right now. Yes. Okay. Now, what to do? I think I definitely want to electrolyze this guy. And then... Yeah, because that'll draw me a card. And that's his last... Uh, spider. I think. Feeling a little bit better about things now. Arbor Elf. Sure. Probe. Get another blocker. Oh, I have a deep 
deprived now too. Uh, I played. I played the island this turn. All right? Yeah. Well, it's an end step anyway, but. No pyromancer. <sighs> what happened to my? Oh, he quit. Well, sorry about that. But, uh, well, you at least got some see some gameplay. Um, that game is a little weird with uh, being uh, short of a mana source. Uh, but, you know, that happens a lot with, uh, even we were, though we're running 22 lands, uh, it happens more often than I'd like. Uh, bring another game soon. Thanks a lot.